Hello everyone, in today's video we will be using Trigger Happy to trigger various FX effects. In this video I will be using Trigger Happy, The Furnace, FX Master, as well as Token Magic. I will also be using animated assets from J2BA, so go ahead and give them a look as well. I'll put them down in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with what we can do. As always, with Trigger Happy, you need to start by creating a folder labeled Trigger Happy. And anything within that can be used as triggers. So let's go to my journal entry labeled Triggers 2. So I've set up a few. I have at token trap, trap 1, trap 2, trap 3, trap 4, trap 6, and clear. I'm not very creative in naming. That's okay, just as long as all of your token names are unique. That is the important thing. So check to make sure your names are unique before we go any further. Okay, I will save, but before I save, let's take a look at what these do. So all of them that I'm going to be going over today are cause, are triggered by capture move, meaning that when a player steps on it, it will cause this effect to happen. And all of them call on macros. So let's go ahead and try one out. So the first one that I have over here on the left-hand side, Trap 6, again, not very creatively named, I have set this up so that it will call a macro I created earlier in FX Master a weather macro. So when the hobgoblin steps on this particular spot that is labeled, or that is marked, I should say, by the token, the weather will change. Let's see how that functions. So the hobgoblin stops, steps on the token, and instantly rain appears as well as pink clouds. So we can see how this can be used to trigger weather effects. Next, on the right-hand side, I have set up a row, or I should say a column, of various token magic macros. I obtained all of these macros after installing the token magic module, and they appear in your compendium underneath macros tab, right here. You can see all of them here. There is an insane amount that you can play with and see how you like it, which ones you like the best. So go ahead and check them out. I should mention, though, the top one here, delete filters unselected, I'll be using to clear a filter after it's placed. So let's move my character onto the top token here. We see a filter is applied. And then over here to the right, I have clear token which will call the macro, which clears the token magic effect. Next, creates a chromatic bubble, and clear. Super hot fire effect, and clear. And black, and clear, a black aura effect. Notice how if I step back on the token, the effect will be placed again. So think about that when you're placing these down, if you want to use them to create effects on your players. These effects can also be combined. So I have the chromatic bubble. I can place the fire effect on it, as well as the things can get pretty insane pretty quickly if you layer on effects. But as soon as you clear, all of them will go away. The last setup I have, I am using the cast spell macro. This macro comes bundled with the FX master. So if you go to FX master companion, you can see there's cast spell. Now the cast spell macro, as it comes bundled, already has one in place, one spell effect in place. However, it is super easy to change which spell it calls upon, at least the animation itself. As far as figuring out the distance and matters like that, not necessarily as easy, but changing the animation itself, pretty simple. All you have to do is change the everything within the quotation marks here to the file path appropriate. Again, as I mentioned very briefly early on, I am using an animation that comes from J2BA assets, animated assets, so give them a look. Let's see how this functions. In order for it to work right now, I do need to have something targeted. So I have the hobgoblin targeted, and then as I step on, this, we can see a ray will appear. Same thing here and same thing here. So the scorching ray appears and is hurtled towards the hobgoblin. There is no effect other than visual, but I still think it looks pretty cool. And maybe there's some way that you can use it in your game. 
right, before we wrap things up, this is super easy to set up. All you have to do is just type at token, and then whatever the name of your token here, trap seven, even though I don't have a trap seven, and then at trigger, if you want it to be a trigger where they step upon it to call it, so at trigger, capture move, and then the last thing you just need to, here I have my clouds macro that I showed off at the very beginning, drag on and put it next to it, and then you're done. You can click save entry, and now if I have a token labeled trap seven, if a player steps on it, it'll call this macro. Super simple. So, at least I hope it's super simple. If you have any problems, though, please put down uh, any issues you might have in the comments below. Thanks, everyone. I hope this has helped. I am still learning how to use this. I think there's a lot more you can do, um, but I thought this was cool enough to share, and I hope that you can use this in your game. Thanks, everyone.